Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reorganizing slash cleaning my bookshelves. A couple of months ago, I did a video where I kind of reorganized this bedroom and I kind of decorated my bookshelves a little bit. I put up my lights and everything. I actually really love how that video turned out, so I will link that down below. And then earlier in the year, I reorganized a little bit of these shelves and then my TBR bookshelf as well, so I will link that down below. That's kind of what I want to do today. I do want to reorganize some of these books and I do want to take some things out and then I do want to clean and reorganize my TBR bookshelf because there's definitely some books that I want to take off of that shelf. So I'm probably going to start with that one first and then I'll move on to all of this. I don't think there's a lot that I want to take off of here but I do just kind of want to clean things a little bit and I do want to take stuff off of the top which I will talk about and I have like some other random stuff like that bookshelf I really really want to clean I kind of have just random stuff in there and then I kind of just want to overall dust and vacuum in here I do need to wash the bedding but I am not going to do that today even though I could have I just overall need to clean this room because it has recently become kind of a dump I have like a painting in here that I need to put in my garage and stuff so this room just needs a little bit of sprucing I don't have any other like decor updates or things. I do have some more decor ideas for this room, but I just haven't gotten it together to be honest. I'm actually really excited to get rid of some books. I just feel like especially this room, I get very anxious coming in here just because I feel like there's so much stuff. I don't know if I feel like I have too many books or if it's just like everything else in this room is very chaotic, but I do really want to clean it. So I think I'm actually going to get started with my TBR shelf. I will link all of my bookshelf tours down below. I did a tour for all of these shelves back in 2021, I think. My TBR bookshelf, I did a tour at the beginning of this year. So I will link both of those down below. So this is currently what my TBR bookshelf looks like. It is very disorganized, very messy. I also have to try to fit all of these books on there. I think I'm going to start by dusting everything and I'm going to take off every single book and just fully dust my shelves because I don't think I've ever done that. So I think that's what I'm going to do first and then I'm going to properly organize everything after I think. Okay, so I took everything off of my shelves. I think I don't really realize like how many books can fit on there, which is kind of crazy because it's so small, but I left the bottom shelf because I'm just gonna do that when I sit on the floor. And then my TBR cart, I'm just gonna leave for last and see if I can fit more on my shelves. So yeah, this I'm gonna leave for last because there are some things I'm gonna take out and put in my other room okay i know this is a really bad angle but i don't have like room to put a tripod or like balance it on a table <laughs> so you're balancing on my bed i don't know if i want to organize it in like the same way or change it completely i think more or less i'll keep it kind of the same way as i had it
So I'm kind of getting there with the organization, but I'm still not loving how it looks. So I think I'm gonna have to definitely like re do some things. I also have all of these books left to fit on here if I can or put them on my TBR cart, but that I still need to reorganize a little bit. Okay, you can't really see, but I am going to take out all the books. I forget what's behind my mass market paperbacks. I'm thinking I should move all of my mass market paperbacks in my other book room. Even though I love having all of my to be read books all together in one spot, I do feel like these take up a lot of room. I think I might put them on that other small little shelf that I just have like random stuff on. I think I'm gonna put all these on there. I think that might actually be a really good idea. So I think I'm gonna do that. I've also had to like stop filming like multiple times because my cat is being such a troublemaker today. She's literally just trying to play and attack everything. She's already wrecked one of my plants because it like was hanging and I didn't think that she would like play with it because I thought it was too high for her but she ripped off the leaf off of it. Yeah, it seems like I have all of these down here and I forget because they're hidden. Oops, they're hidden by all of the mass market paperbacks that I have. I still forget that I have this special edition, the Black Lotus series by E.K. Blair. This was a mystic book box, I think. Um, yes, it was. It says in the back. Yeah, I think I'm just straight up going to put my mass market paperbacks in the other room. I think that's going to be a lot better so I can utilize this full shelf. I am so happy I took out the mass market paperbacks because it just gave me so much more room and I'm really, really happy with how it looks. I think I do want to switch this one around though because I just feel like they look all the same. So I think I'm going to switch that one really quick. But other than that, I'm loving how that's looking so far. I don't know if I am going to reorganize things a little bit more. But I did try to keep like some authors together and stuff like that. But other than that, it's just kind of whatever fits. This is it that I have left to fit on my TBR cart. And then those are all the mass market paperbacks that I'm going to put in the other room. And then that small pile over there is books that I'm getting rid of or putting in the other room. I'm going to go through this right now. Um, I think most of these I'm going to keep. I think this one I'm going to take off. These I'm going to keep, I think. These. Oh, I have another Helena hunting up there. Oh well. Um, that's all good, I think. So my TBR cart is organized as well. I don't have enough books to have standing up, so I had to lay those ones down, which kind of sucks because I will sort of forget what's down there, but at least it is organized. Again, they're not really organized in any particular order, but like this should definitely go down here with these ones. Maybe I'll switch that, but other than that, I am so much more happier that everything is organized and I took some books off. I didn't take off very much, but I am happy I did take some stuff off. As you can see, it's kind of a mess in here. I literally have everything everywhere. I did bring all of the mass market paperbacks in here, and then I brought some of the books that I am getting rid of. But it's basically just like a huge mess in here, and then this has been kind of just a pile of nothing and everything. And then I have like a picture frame here. This was in my living room, but I took it out. So that needs to go in my garage. This I need to put in the closet. I think what I'm going to do first is just kind of dust everything. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and vacuum. I'm not going to take any of the books off. I'm just going to kind of dust the tops of the books and then the shelves.
So the room is now dusted and vacuumed. Now I think I'm just going to look at each shelf and see if there's any books that I want to take out. And then I think that's kind of it. Like I don't really think I'm going to like fully reorganize things. I kind of just wanted to take stuff off that I knew I didn't want on here anymore. Okay, on the first shelf, I don't think I see anything I want to take off. Hmm. I might take this off. I'm debating between just putting some books in storage or actually unhauling and getting rid of some. I don't know what I want to do yet. Here, I think I'm going to keep everything. So these two shelves you don't really see in videos. Actually, yes you do. If I film in the corner or like to the side, you see these two shelves. These shelves are usually either my newer books or books that I don't care about because they were like the last two additions that I had to my shelving collection. I feel kind of anxious if I get rid of like too many books, but at the same time I still want to get rid of some. I don't really understand that logic. And then this is just obviously some new books, so I don't think there's anything I want to get rid of, but I am going to double check on this shelf but this one like realistically I could probably just get rid of everything I don't know I'm not gonna go super crazy yet but I am gonna get rid of some stuff I did manage to take off 20 books from these shelves which I'm very happy about I know that these are all books I should have taken off a long long time ago because I read them when I was in my huge YA phase which I'm not really into anymore and a lot of these I don't remember anything about them so there's just no point in me keeping them. There are definitely still at least 20 YA books that I can take off and that I probably should but for now I'm going to keep them and whenever I want to clean my shelves again I will probably get rid of the rest. At some point I will film an unhaul for all of these and you will see me get rid of some of these. I still have to organize my mass market paperbacks so I will show you that and then I'll also show you the little changes I made to all of these shelves. But I did take some books off my TBR shelf that I'm gonna put I think in my living room because I have like this bookshelf in my living room that I like to display some books that I've read or haven't read. I have some classics on there that I haven't read yet but I want to keep on display. Um, so some of these are going to go there. I have Useless Magic by Florence Welch. This is her lyrics and poetry book. This I'm going to probably put on that shelf. I'm also going to put my French version of Twilight. I have not read this. I don't know if I ever will to be honest but I feel like this will be fun to display in my living room. Violet Bent Backwards Over the Grass by Lana Del Rey. This is her poetry book. I feel like I should really read this soon. I kind of want to read it for a video, but I am going to put this in my living room. And then I'm going to put these two poetry books over there as well. The Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Carr and The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. These I have yet to read, but I just feel like they're going to be more suited in my living room and same for the bell jar by sylvia plath i've actually already started reading this i stopped because i wasn't in the right headspace to read this so i just took a break but i was really really enjoying this i have like some annotations in here and stuff so yeah i'm very excited to continue this at some point but i think this will be cute to have in my living room okay i think i'm gonna put all of these over there because I kind of cleaned that shelf there and I kind of organized other things that I feel like I should really throw away but everything else is going to kind of stay for now. So yeah I think I'm going to put the mass market paperbacks in that spot. Hopefully they will all fit. They should. I'm going to go through them quickly too to see which ones I want to keep or don't and as you can see my cat is sleeping so peacefully right there. She is so cute. I'm obsessed with her. So here's my mass market paperback shelf. I actually really like how this turned out and I did kind of organize it. So here we just have, well, I have like two mysteries and then we have like paranormal and then I have contemporary and then historical fiction and then this is all historical. So I do have more obviously behind there. I put my top priority more in the front. But yeah, this is how this looks. I'm very happy with that and I did 
as I said, clean this up a little bit, which is very nice. Okay, so I officially cleaned and kind of reorganized all of my bookshelves. I did take off the stuff at the top because I just don't like things at the top anymore. I did kind of want to have some pictures and some knickknacks up there, but I just decided that I don't like that and it makes me feel anxious. It makes me feel like this room is so busy. So I decided to take everything down from the top and just focus on the bookshelves. You can't really tell that I reorganized anything because I honestly just took out like maybe three or four books from this area, but I mainly took out everything from like this area and I cleaned that whole bottom shelf and then half of that shelf and then that's the pile I'm getting rid of so I did manage to clean a little bit and kind of reorganize some stuff mainly just on this side I still need to make my bed but my cat is still sleeping so I'm gonna wait until she's no longer on there to make and clean the bed but I'm pretty much done with this room I'm really happy with how it turned out so that is pretty much it for this video i feel like i didn't really show me reorganizing things so i don't know how this video is going to turn out but i hope you enjoyed whatever it turned out to be regardless i'm gonna film a book on haul and hopefully have that up very soon including my tbr shelf i took off 27 books which is pretty crazy it doesn't feel like i took off that many but i guess i did take off a bunch. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!